2.75 seconds or something like that of a static fire that happened and it looked pretty successful. It looked pretty good. It was short. I think it looked like a lot of Raptors fired. I don't know if all of them fired, but a lot of them did. And it, from what we understand, some Raptors canceled, they stopped. So they aborted and so they aborted the whole thing. So while it looks cool and there's lots of smoke and stuff, which is awesome. I don't know that it was a hundred percent successful. And, and as a result, I think they're going to be moving the booster back to shipyard to maybe do some repairs. Not sure. Yeah. It looks like they have a couple of SPMT down at the launch site now, I'm moving down there to move booster back to the production facility, which is, mm -hmm. it's expected after something like this. It's there's the wrong direction, to be honest. It was, I was kind of hoping everything would just stay out there, but now there's going to be nothing out there. 25 got moved back already. Yeah. And, and now they're going to move nine back, B9. So it's a little disappointing that everybody's leaving the launch site as opposed to yeah. going to the launch site. But what are you going to do? Yeah, you can, they have to make the changes. If they, and we don't know, like SpaceX hasn't said anything about why the engine shut down or what happened during the static fire or if it was 100% successful. And you can grade success on a few things. One of them is collection of data. They're collecting data at this. So if you're just going to say, oh, they collected data, that was successful. And at this point, it's the second try. I think, it's, I think but, we're a bit beyond just collecting data at yeah, this point. We want success. We want it to work. They've and had, we, SpaceX. Yeah, yeah. As a collective, the space community here, the spaceflight yeah. community, we want it to work. We want it to get to orbit. But also SpaceX definitely needs this thing to get up there. They have a lot riding on these boosters. But it, as far as... Yeah the data collection goes, they're going to figure out what happened and they're going well, to figure Elon out. recently said that their hope is to, it's basically the same as last time, get to separation. Yeah. Uh, their goal is not necessarily to get to orbit yeah. or near orbit. Their goal is just to separate and, yeah. uh, and prove that works and they can do it. And the ship moves off on, in the right course and right direction and, and that'd be successful. That would so. be great. He gave, mm -hmm. I think he gave it a 50% chance. He gave the last one a 50% chance to clear the tower. Okay. So that was the first attempt. IFT-1 was to clear the tower, 50% chance to get off the pad. And then this one's 50% chance to do hot stage firing, which they have never tested before. They've never tested it. So he's, it's 50-50 shot if it's going to work. Our engineers are great, but stuff could happen. Things could get shaken. Things could go wrong. So there's a possibility that... 50% goes wrong <laughs> or 50% yeah, goes sure. right. There's, so there's a chance that hundred percent goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Or this makes it to orbit. Who knows? Who does their orbital velocity and makes it all the way to Hawaii. And it, it would be great if that happened, but it seems like they're going to be moving this thing back to the production facility. And when they move it back to the production facility, probably swap out some Raptors, figure out what happened. Was it the water deluge system that extinguished these Raptors? There's a little... There's a That's little, a question. Uh, some rumors floating around on Reddit, not Twitter about was the water deluge system too powerful? And it, part you know, of what I'm curious about is if you look at the water deluge system, I think video here from SpaceX, it shoots up quite far right, into the air. Yeah. The engines are quite high up in the air too, but it shoots out more or less sideways rather than up. So I don't know, know how the deluge system would have affected the Raptors. It doesn't really go up into the base of the ship. Yeah, and you can, so. you can see from this picture, I think more so, yeah. that it doesn't really, there's a little bit of spray, that, but it doesn't really get up there. It's, it's, it's pretty, really, yeah. Yeah. But could it have tripped some sensors and the engines when the, you know, the engines hit the water and it created steam? And like, could there have been a, some sort of sensor issue? Shut down the engines. Engines could be fine. The sensors could just be uh, too sensitive. Sensorative. <laughs> if that's the issue, yeah. Um, yeah. It's possible. It could just be the those darn raptors that are unreliable. Right? Unreliable. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Don't get me started on that. Reddit, if you're listening. The most um, complex engine in the world is unreliable. What's the surprise? Uh, imagine that. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> the, it's never been done before. It's the most most powerful engine ever built. But it's unreliable. Second it's the second test. So yeah. you know it, Raptor 2, they're building Raptor 3, and of course, not only are they making it more powerful, they're making it more reliable, they're making it with less parts, which makes it more reliable, 
less things to break, always more reliable. But it seems like the deluge system worked pretty good. It looked like it worked pretty good. I did wonder what what the effective part is of the deluge system, though. Like we see lots of water pouring out, but I definitely have seen a video, and I think you've got the video somewhere. Maybe you could show it where they're testing a, an engine. I don't know if it's SpaceX at all, but they're testing an engine against the deluge system. It could be, this could be the mock-up of SpaceX's system, uh, but you can see that the flames just destroy the water. There's no way that the shooting water is stopping right. these flames. Right. So my guess is, and I think that's accurate, my guess is that the water shooting out uh, is just part of a radiation system. The actual water underneath the steel plates is the important water. That's the stuff that's cooling those plates as it gets hot. Um, the water shooting out is just more or less hot water point shooting out that's been heated by these engines. So yeah, the deluge system is more about cooling the underside of the plate rather than stopping the flames from hurting the plate. Yeah, I think so too. It's more for, there's noise suppression, of course, which is great for the wildlife and great for the people down there. But also you have, like you said, it's a metal, it's a giant steel deflector at the bottom of the pad. So they got to cool it down. These engines are, like you said, the most powerful engines ever. So the, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. It's a radiator, basically. It's, we don't have another rock tornado like last time. There's a chance that maybe, maybe this is all going to work. I don't know. I think this is going to be incredible if it does. There's no flame diverter trench. And people, yeah. if you've noticed anything from Twitter, it's that there are some people, I was, I'm still one of them. I don't know if this is going to work 100%, but there's a lot of people on social media that are saying, uh, that have said, and will continue to say that this needs a flame diverter. It needs mm -hmm. a giant trench. It mm -hmm. needs to be built up 30 feet in the air. They need to stack a bunch of stuff on yeah. and then put the rocket on top of that. But it looks like they're proving everybody wrong. <laughs> so it's great. Well, I think, I think, I think we it's have awesome. to remember, I think you have to remember that flame diverter trench, so to speak, if we put that in quotations, is 60, 70 rule tech, if you yeah. will. Very low tech, but it's tech. And things can be better and things can be new and still work. It's yep. not like the, it just stops working because there's something new. You just got to keep push, pushing and keep progressing forward. Yeah. My, my bigger Keep concern, innovating. it always has been, is what happens on Mars or the moon or something like that. If you're trying, maybe not the moon, but Mars, you're not going to have a, a water cooled deluge system on Mars. How do they prevent it there? That's the biggest concern and worry. And perhaps a, a trench on Mars makes more sense. 